welcome back to my channel my name is Keisha if you're new here and thank you for clicking on today's video for today's video I'm just gonna be showing you guys my productive morning routine I do have two different morning routines like depending on if I work out or not so this morning it's a workout morning um, so I get up a little earlier closer to 5 a.m. I set an alarm the days I don't work out I don't set an alarm but the dogs and the cat usually wake me up around 6 anyway so I don't even set an alarm usually between like 5 30 and 6 30 so yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys through a productive morning. We're going to a workout class this morning and it is early. Get my coffee, this is my pre-workout. I have like 10, 15 minutes till I need to leave. So I'm going to sit down and read for a little bit. If I'm not doing like an early workout, cause sometimes I'll work out later in the morning, but if I'm not doing an early workout, then I will replace that time with a little extra sleep, some reading time, and then some like early morning editing. And I'll just kind of like push the whole day back a bit, but. Anyways, I'm done rambling. Let's get in to the rest of this morning routine. I'm currently in the process of doing the tandem read for um, Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms. Maybe like a little over 100 pages deep into both right now. But no matter which routine I'm doing, whether I'm working out early or not, I always like to give myself at least a little time to do something just for me that's like calming and like a hobby that I enjoy. For me, it is reading. So I like to do at least like a chapter or two in the morning just to give myself a little like time before we have to get into the craziness of the day. Okay, morning workout done. It's 7.05. That was actually a really good workout, but like more like a low key good workout. Like if you guys watched my last video, I mentioned how I signed up to be a member of the YMCA because my good friend Zola goes here and she goes to usually body pump in the morning. So she was like, you should start coming with me. So we agreed to start going a couple times a week together. And last week I went to body pump with her and that was like really, really good. I really like that it was pretty much just like strength. But this one was just like, full body I think it was like full body strength and conditioning or something so it was like a mix of a cardio and strength so the beginning it felt almost like felt like it was like Zumba we were just doing like random movements bopping around I was like is this like a Zumba class um so I kind of didn't know how I was gonna feel about it in the beginning but then I started picking up we were doing more like strength and body weight and it was actually kind of nice because we did a lot of stretching she said she was going to teach the yoga class next after that so I don't know um but we did a lot of stretching too which was kind of nice because I was like I don't stretch that often so we were doing a lot of like good deep stretches throughout the workout which I liked and then it didn't feel that hard but then I burnt like 463 calories or something in like the 50 minutes so I still burnt a lot of calories so that was actually a really good class I like classes like that where like it doesn't feel that hard like I didn't feel like I was like dying throughout like I was just like chilling but like I still burned a bunch of calories so I don't know. I was like, I never would have thought these YMCA classes were gonna be it for me, but I actually really enjoy it and it's such a good way to start off the day. So yeah, I'm gonna head home and then we're gonna go take the dogs on a nice walk and then yeah, get into our morning routine. But 
like I said, I don't do like a 6 a.m. class every day. Like my goal is to do it like three times a week. But when I do it, I like literally feel amazing. Like I'm like, I have the rest of the day. The world is my oyster. I feel amazing. And yeah. It's November, but it's also like 80 degrees out. So I'm like, what's a nice in between outfit? I can't tell if I like this, but I only have to leave. So I have like a building, like a new building tour that I'm doing with a few other agents on the team. So we're, we're gonna be doing that at 11, and then I have dinner plans, but not till like 5.30. So the only real work thing I need to do is this tour. So I'm really just like, what do I wanna wear? I don't know, I might end up changing. But my hair, so I did the little like, I think it's called the koala style or something. I've seen it on TikTok. But I did that because it's supposed to help preserve your hair when you have like a blowout. Um, I blow dried my hair yesterday, but I didn't straighten it. So it already wasn't like perfect, which I did that on purpose because I knew like after a workout, like on fresh hair, I was like, let me just come back and have to straighten it. So normally on a day like this, like I usually have my hair done and then I just take it down. I might just throw some rollers in it and not necessarily have to put heat in it. But since I only blow dried it yesterday and then just did the workout, I'm going to go through and put some heat on it. I already washed my face. I'm just going to do a little more skincare and then... Whenever I have to like initially do my hair, I'll roll in like a chair to sit in because I'm too lazy to stand for the whole time. So let me go get a chair. Okay, got my seat. And now I don't do, I don't get ready every single day. If you guys watch my vlogs, you would know that. Like sometimes I'll just throw on a cozy outfit if I'm not going anywhere and if I'm not like filming. I mean, I vlog, I've been vlogging every day, but I'll just throw on like a cozy outfit and just do my skincare, put my glasses on, throw my hair up like I don't bother getting ready. So I feel like at this point, I'm kind of getting ready maybe like during the week, like maybe like three times. Like it's definitely not every day. Like I said, it looks crazy, but like I said, it was only blow dried and then just thrown up like that. So I love the straightener that I got. It's amazing. This is the same one that my hairdresser uses. I'll have it linked down below. I got it from Amazon. It's the Babyliss Pro Prima 3100. It's nice because it gets heated on both sides. If you want to use your straightener to curl your hair, it's really nice because it gets hot on both sides. So you get more of like an even, even heat distribution when you're curling your hair, which is super nice. And the cord is extremely long. So 8.59, okay. Yeah, basically nine o'clock right now. So I like to at least, like these mornings, I like to at least be getting my day started by 10, ideally. done so I do this just like an initial straighten which I feel like it looks okay but like I, said, I like it to have like a little bounce also my hair is getting so long we are going to I'm gonna put like a little bit of serum in it and then I'm going to wrap it up in a few flexi rods I can probably leave it in for like an hour which like I said, it's not enough time to give me like the full vibe that I would normally be wanting but it's enough to give me a little bit of oomph, which is what I'm going for. So this Bondi Boost Frizz Fix Serum, I'm gonna do like, I don't like to put too much in because I like to leave my hair 
when I straighten it, I like it to be, yeah, that might be too much. I like it to be straight for like a week. So I don't like to do too much, mainly focus on the ends. a premier protein shake for breakfast. I have these pretty much every morning for breakfast and I love them because they're pretty low cal and then have 30 grams of protein. Okay, now that I'm having my protein shake, I'm going to take my supplements. I don't take anything too crazy, but I just take a woman's multivitamin, which I'm getting low on. I take these little fiber gummies. I think after I, I'm I think after I finish these, I'm not gonna take them anymore. I mean, it's only five grams of fiber. I feel like they're not really doing much. So I'm just gonna take them because I already have them and then I'm not gonna repurchase them. Um, and then I take this prenatal. I've mentioned it in a few videos. I am not pregnant, not trying to get pregnant yet, but my doctor told me that if I plan on being pregnant within the next year, then she recommended I start taking them. So I'm taking these prenatals. And then along with this, I'm taking some choline. Um, just because from the research I did, it said that this was a really good one because it has like the folic acid and DHAs, like it's overall pretty good, but it doesn't have choline in it. So they recommended taking this. I don't take the full dose of this, but I figured I'm just gonna take some now. And then when it's time to start trying, I will up my dose on this. But those are my supplements. I do want to, there are a few that I wanna do a little more research into and potentially start taking a few more. So we'll see, but. Right now, it is pretty simple. And then now, I'm just going to plan out my day and then I'm gonna start the work day. I love these little to-do list pads. I think this exact one that I love, I mean, I've, we're, it's coming to an end here. <laughs> But we're still gonna use it. I love it just because I love how like much space is on here. But I think they've been sold out of this exact one or like, I don't know if they're even gonna come back with it. So I'll try to link this down below. If not, I'll link something similar. So I'm going to just plan out the day. Today's Tuesday, November 5th. I might try to edit this video and get this up tomorrow. So if you guys are watching this on Wednesday, November 6th. Just know that this was filmed the day before. So we were almost in real time, which is real fun. Yeah, it is 10.02 and I'm going to start my work day. I'm gonna hop on a quick call, have a building tour, come home and get some work done. I have dinner plans. But yeah, I think this concludes my morning routine. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this very like simple and realistic morning routine. I feel like I don't have a bajillion steps in my morning routine, but I think that's why I like it because it just hits everything that I needed to hit and it just works really well for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you guys again in another video. Nah, nah, all right, nah, bye. Nah, no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Take my soul, take my soul, take my soul, take my soul.